All right, so now we've kind of gone through just like the basics of going like a vertex form. Now we're going to look into transformations. And um, last class period, we worked on standard form. I gave you this equation to graph, right? Remember, this is the first problem you guys had to do. And we just gave you a table of values to figure out you know, how to graph this. Well, this is what we call the parent graph. And the reason why it's called a parent graph is it's just a quadratic that has no transformations. And if you guys remember from geometry, transformations are a way that we can you know, um, affect the shape and the orientation of the graph, shifting it left or right, um, dilating, shrinking it, or stretching it. So the y equals x squared is the parent graph because there's no transformations on this. But when we have a, an equation that's in vertex form, there's certain transformations that happen. Remember I said that x comma h is going to be your vertex. Right? That's your vertex right here. So if my vertex, um, if, if I move my, my h and my k is going to give me a different point, let's say um, over to up 1. Let's say my new vertex is at comma 2 comma 1. Well, now I've taken this graph and I've shifted the vertex over. So the whole graph is going to shift over to the new vertex. So what that means is the value of h is going to be a horizontal shift. All right, k is going to be your vertical shift. And a, a is going to equal, um, Zach, could you move up another seat, please? Thanks. Um, a is going to be, if your graph is going to be, um, going to be uh, condensed or compressed or stretched you know, horizontally or vertically. So when we look at this, when a is less than uh, sorry, let's look at this. A equals, so in the absolute value of A, remember just that, we're, forget about the positive or negative. But when the absolute value of A is going to be less than 1, then we are going to have a, um, let's call this vertical. You're going to have a vertical stretch. And when the absolute value of A is greater than 1, nope, I'm sorry. That's a compression. And when you have absolute value of A is greater than 1, then you're going to have a vertical stretch. All right. Now, just write these things down, ladies and gentlemen, because I will go through an example that will probably make a little bit more sense with this. Um, but I just want to kind of go through the basics of the transformations. So when you're looking at a problem, you're going to have a whole different bunch of transformations. And also, remember we talked about when, uh, when you have negative A, that's going to be a reflection. Over the x-axis. As we kind of mentioned over here, when A is less than 0, you know, it opens down. Basically what you're doing is you're taking the parent graph and reflecting it over the x-axis. So these are going to be your important transformations that you guys are going to want to have written down because these are what you're going to follow along with um, when we go over a problem. 